What are those, ballyhoo or needlefish? Yeah, it's hard to tell. I think those are needlefish. I think they're needlefish as well. Look at all the grass on these traps out here. Just look load it up. Just look how many traps there are. Absolute million traps out here. Easily. So Tony, they just hang on the structure, just kind of like what they do up north where they're around me, just for the bait and whatnot? Yeah, I think they just use the crab traps as a, a bit of a current break and all that grass and weeds and stuff and the shrimp and crabs live in there and they just use that as an opportunity to eat there. All those good eating things we like to eat too. Oh yeah, same things. <laughs> I think that's what makes them taste so good is they eat the same things we do. Well, there's enough crab pots out here. Oh my God, so many. We were coming out here, coming across the bay, we come up to the crab line, a crab trap line here and it looked like white water. All right, I got a triple tail on this yellow buoy right over here in front of us at 12 o'clock. Got him. Got it, hey, that looks like a pretty good one. What's your size limits here? 15 inches uh, is the minimum size limit. All right. See him there? Yes, sir, Isn't that him? looks like a mighty fine triple tail there. Yellow buoy again. He is there. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicta Fishing. We are off Almorada right now. We got Captain Tony Melton with us. And uh, right now we're catching triple tail. We're gonna go hit a rack out in the Gulf here a little bit later, but you know me, man, I love to catch fish and I love to catch triple tail. So here we go. Oh, I felt him bang it. He's still there. I'm getting away from that buoy just a hair. He ate it, he ate it. There, I got him. <laughs> Old triple tail. Now you say these, these buoys just run from here all the way to like where Boca Grande. Yeah, they? they go all the way up to like towards Naples, around the corner of the, of the Cape. And, uh, and they're just, I mean, if, if you look out there, they're just numerous. Now is that about your average size triple tail? Yeah, that's a pretty average one for, for this area. You can't get bigger ones, but. Come on there, little dude. These things are pretty. Pretty, my pretty, pretty prehistoric. These are your favorite? Oh yeah, my favorite fish to eat. I got a buddy of mine that uh, is in Port Canaveral and he specializes in these things. And up there, we get some absolute monsters. Oh, some man. of the biggest triple tail in the world up there. We've got several world records. That would be awesome. And this one here, you say that's your average one, huh? Yeah, that's pretty, uh, that looks like a pretty average fish for here. I love these things. Talk about a look, something that looks like a saltwater Oscar. But these guys are in their own family. They got great cheek meat here, just like a grouper. But one thing you got to watch out for with these guys are these serrated gill plates because they will flat cut you like a knife. But uh, triple tail right there from just outside of Flamingo. Just outside, yeah. Just running the trap, so we're running on the way to uh, to the Gulf to go catch some big fish. So we're gonna let this dude go. Awesome. See you later, Mr. Triple Tail, and uh, we'll be right back catching big fish. Yeah, well, crabbers don't, don't die, man. They just smell that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So you say none of these are Canaveral triple tail out here? No, right? apparently not. I mean, I've never fished them up there, but you told me they get pretty big. I think the biggest one I ever caught here was like 14 pounds. That's a good but size that's trip. That's pretty rare, you know. Well, I'm, I'm downsized today. I'm throwing the 7.2 with a DOA, 30 pound leader, 15 pound uh, smackdown. We're gonna see if it gets the job done on these giant ones that are here. All right, I got a triple tail right here at 12 o'clock on this yellow buoy here. Okay, I got it. That should be good. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still on our way out to the Gulf to the wreck. Hopefully we can make it out there before we catch too many fish, but uh, got another triple tail right on this yellow buoy. And what's weird, man, they're all on the yellow buoy. All on the yellow. All on the Old yellow. yellow. And there's millions of white ones and blue ones and black ones. And there's a nice triple tail here. This one looks a little bigger than that last one. All right. Nice current. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he didn't take he you long it. to get that, did it? He <laughs> on it. There he goes. Oh. Come on, Trippy. They do like to try to go back to that buoy, don't they? Oh, yeah. He wants to go back. 
What's funny about these fish is they actually jump. You wouldn't think it would be a fish that jumps, but they will actually jump sometimes. I always say you never know what a triple tail is going to do. They'll dive, they'll jump, they'll turn sideways just like that and use the current. Exactly. There he is. Yeah, he's a little better than that last one. You want this one for dinner? Oh, we can, I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you want to do, we can release it. The cool thing about down here is I have the opportunity to do it all I want. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You gotta get me a new DOA. He slung that one off. Look at that. Come on, dude. There you go. Time for a new DOA. Ow! There he goes. I'm just talking about those <laughs> gill rakers. You gotta be so careful with those. Those things, every one of them's just like a, like a pen. But you wanna talk about a sandwich and a half. Those guys right there. Reason they call them triple tail is they use that anal lobe fin and the dorsal lobe fin and their tail fin to move. And I'm telling you what, they use all three of those tails right there. That's why they're so fun to catch and they are just so powerful. But, uh, well, so I guess we'll let this guy swim back up to Cape Canaveral and get big. Yeah, that's cool. Bigger. Yeah, <laughs> See you, dude. And they are hardy. Oh yeah, definitely a hardy, hardy fish. Fun fishery down here, very fun fishery. They're not all that big, but man, you get a ton of them. Time to rig up and get me another fish. Well, there's our turtles popping up. You know, it's always a good sign when you see turtles. Yeah, always a good sign. The reason is for that, there's always structure around where these turtles hang. Even Atlantic, wherever you get sea turtles hanging. Always good. Always. There's oh, a there fish. Thought I'd throw something bang it. Get out of your way here. <laughs> what in the world we got? <laughs> I think I know. I think, yeah. It was a big old shrimp. <laughs> what do we got? It'd be nice if it turns out to be a big brown one, huh? Yeah, right. I've caught them a lot on shrimp. Heck, I oh, probably yeah. caught more Kobe on shrimp than anything else. I do. I throw um, the biggest shrimp I can find at them a lot of times. Or should I say it's a DOA shrimp a lot of times? I yeah. Throw at Just one of them little, you know, three and a half inches. Like I was saying with your fish, yeah. I mean, even though it's sharks, I know when I was a kid, I, I I could care less about catching a tarpon, right? Care less about catching a bonefish, yeah. I want to catch sharks and just stuff that pulled hard, right? Exactly. And this one is a shark, bonnet head, big bonnet head. Has it been like a shortage of bonnet heads? I heard. Ah. Uh. I'm just not around like they used to be? Maybe not, I don't know. I see a lot of them though. So. Oh, he's gonna come around. Yep. These little chairs. <laughs> These are the size I'll still bring aboard. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people <laughs> Always mistaking these for hammerheads. Hammerhead. The most thing I hear is, oh, I caught a baby hammerhead. Oh. Looks like he's hooked right. Uh-oh. That's 50 pound I put on there. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Ready? There you go. Got him. Look at that. That 50 pound held up yeah, right yeah. in his mouth. Seaguar does the trick. Let's see, I got a little D-hooker. Unless you want to stick your finger down. No, I'm it. not not particularly. <laughs> uh, let's see, I can grab your pliers there. It's bleeding all over the boat. Well, that ain't the first time blood been <laughs> on this boat. Those truck cars will do the trick. Look at that. There you go. Now why people think these things are baby hammerheads turning that way a little bit is that shovel nose on their head, but a hammerhead actually would come out, one this size would come out about that far. But, uh, go ahead and toss him. I know there's a shortage of them, so. Here we go. See you later, everybody. Man, nice. Oh, a good way to start it it's off. It's a lot right? of fun. <laughs> hey, what we did, guys, our yellow buoys that we kept following here a little bit ago, the lobster guy that was running the buoys came by and he took them all, and we weren't finding anything on any other buoy. Anything that would eat anyway, it was only the yellow ones. So we went ahead and came out here to the Gulf, just set up, 
started catching fish immediately. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. Let's see what comes up to this spot. It's always a surprise. Dun -dun 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 -dun. The shark's gonna eat it. The shark's not gonna eat it. Yeah. Look at that. It's been down there about 11 years, huh? Yeah, about 11 years. Full-time guide for about six now. Just bought my new Skeeter boat back in November. So running that and people seem to love it and I love it, so loving life. Yeah, definitely good boats. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh God, oh God, he's eating, he ate this, he's eating, he's eating, he's eating. <laughs> How big was he? He's pulling drag. <laughs> Golly, I didn't want to get stuck in this thing. Just as his buddy starts, says, hey, come on over. <laughs> How big's he feeling? He's not feeling huge. Now I'm making ground. I wonder if he popped. He... Oh, nope, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> you got 65 pounds smack down on that. Oh, God, he's gone. <laughs> Just because all these crab bots, yeah. I'm gonna have to go backwards. Oh man, I don't know what the. Hey, you want to get on the bow so I can? Yep. Maneuver you for you. I'm fixing to go crab on this thing. I'm turning you. I was just kidding about I got you fighting. Backing. Oh, I was just kidding about you fighting the first one. <laughs> but hey, since you were close to that rod, <laughs> get him, Tony! Get him, Tony! Golly, how did I get suckered into doing this? <laughs> well, you said nothing's going to hit till the tide changed. <laughs> All right, we got some line back on the reel now. All right, <laughs> oh. that was pretty wild. Oh. <laughs> Sitting here waiting for the tide to change and his buddy over there called him back and said, hey, come on, we got tons of Kobe and sharks around here. You all wanna get some good footage? So we cranked, we took, gonna go over there on the trolling motors and uh, just as he grabbed the blue runner rod, about yanked out of his hands. I tend to give my clients a hard time when it comes to this and now I'm getting my payback. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know where Tony's gonna be sitting when we go to the next spot. <laughs> That's just uh, experience there, uh, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking his head a lot. Why don't you be like a 60 pound cobia? Right. Oh yeah, I wouldn't I would, be mad at that. That wouldn't be a bad deal. I think though he'd be more in the 80 pound class fighting like that. Yeah. God, can you believe this day on the Gulf? Oh, it's beautiful out here. Absolutely, what is it, March 20... Yeah. Something now, I don't know, 20, I lost count of days. <laughs> it's the middle of March. And I think they just had another snowstorm up north. <clears throat> He's going right. All right, I'm gonna see if I can put something on in here. Well, the new spot paid off, huh? Yeah, buddy. Even though we're sitting here waiting for the tide to come, he's gonna be on this fish a while, I believe. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more Dick to Fishing and uh, Captain Tony's weight loss program. <laughs> <laughs> On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what Captain Tony and I were out there using. Basically, let me tell you how I met Tony. At the Miami Boat Show this year, they picked up a new Skeeter dealer down in Almorada. It's Almorada Boat Center. And they told me they just signed up a new pro down there, Tony Melton. Had never met Tony before. Super, super nice guy. He's been fishing down there quite a long time and knows, knows what's going on for sure. Our target, starting off, was exactly what we went after, was those triple tail up the buoy line on the outside of the boundaries there. And these triple tail, they just love to hang underneath the buoys because it's always trapping seaweed. You'll see the seaweed that's on the buoys themselves. 
and they just lay there. And as soon as a shrimp comes up next to them or if it's in that seaweed, they come up and eat it. Very, very easy fish to catch. We were using the small stuff on them, but they're still a lot of fun. They use all three of them tails to pull. Then we moved out to the wreck. We didn't know what was going on out there. He said, you know, the sharks are always out there, but uh, when you're wreck fishing in the Gulf, you never know what you're gonna run into. The prototype rod, we're definitely giving it a workout out there. Al at Wright McGill, he hit the nail on the head when he made this blank. If you see how much Tony is pulling on this fish at the end of the fight, it'll make a believer out of you. 65 pound test smackdown by Seaguar. Once again, Seaguar makes that great fluorocarbon out there that will disappear in the water. And uh, their new line here is about the thinnest braid I've ever used in my entire life. If you ever get a chance, definitely go by Al Murata and fish with Captain Tony Melton because he is one awesome captain. Remember one thing though, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and McGill. Woo, he's coming oh, up. Oh, good up. Lord, that's a big shark. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's I, a full grown one. I told you there were big ones out here. You need some help down there yet? I don't take help. <laughs> I don't like help. <laughs> Well, I gotta come down at least grab his tail. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I got some color on him. Oh, yeah. Look there at that fish. Is. Look at there the size is. of that fish. <laughs> I'm trying to find my gloves here. Strong line, ain't it? That's, oh, a, that's yeah, the yeah. most, that, that rod's been bent over. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, we're putting it to the- Woo! There he goes again. That is a beast of a fish. All right, gotta go under. Not only does Seaguar make great leading material and great line, they make oh, great gloves. <laughs> they won't protect against that mouth though, good no. lord. <laughs> I and mean, there's not much out there that will. What are you breathing so hard for? Because I'm not usually the one on this end of the rod. <laughs> Wanna bring him on the deck? No. It's up to you. No, I ain't bringing it on the deck. <laughs> i just see if you wanted to. Uh, I can't keep him on the surface. I uh, will in a second. Come on. He's only about 800 pounds. <laughs> now, how big would you say that fish is? Oh. Too big? Too big? <laughs> hey, there ain't no fish no too big. No way. That thing's nice. I don't know. I. Oh. He didn't like that. I'd say at least in the 300. There he comes. Come on, baby. We're just going to let you go. <laughs> Oh, he don't like that. One more time. Let's get him up and get that hook out. He's about there we go. Roll, roll. Good job. There he yeah, he's done. <sighs> Look at that big boy. Get on. <laughs> That is what you come to the west side for. Big, big animals. Whew. Brother, that's, that's Captain Tony's workout program. Y'all ever get a chance to come down to Almiron and do that, I highly recommend it. Yeah, it works. <laughs> you got me sweating just looking at you. I know, right? You know, I don't think we got any more time in the show, bro. He done burned the whole clock up <laughs> on that fish. That was what, a 300 pound? Oh yeah. Easy. Easy 300 pound. Easy 300 pound fish. Y'all come down here during spring break, you look out and you get a day like today, it is absolutely beautiful. It just, it don't happen this way in March all the time. And if you're fortunate enough, you get a day like today and you can come out and just have a ball. It is an absolute blast. Captain Tony, thank you very much, man. Oh, well, thank you. Had a blast. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Make sure you send us your picture too there on your phone. Hashtag show you Mogan. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. On the yeller, old oh, yeller buoy. Watch it be like a 60 pound cobia. Right. <laughs> then come out here and catch a shark. Ooh, there he goes. Oh.
There, I got him. <laughs> I made it. Oh, yeah, yeah, crap. I'm trying to keep him from eating it.